This is the Pokemon Go Plus, released seven years ago in 2016. And this is the new Pokemon Go Plus Plus, released this year in 2023. It took seven years for Pokemon Go to make a brand new auto catcher. But the question is, how much better is it? Today, we figure that out. To start, I'm gonna walk around the Santa Monica Pier for 30 minutes, catching everything with just the old Pokemon Go Plus. Then we'll do the same with the new Pokemon Go Plus, and we'll compare. So let's pair the Go Plus. Nice, connected, and the timer begins now. Well, let's see if we can catch the first Pokemon. It's this guy. It's a Rosa. Like, yeah, get the Roselia. Sweet, okay, that's a good start. I'm also gonna lure up this entire place. And I'm gonna drop an it. Gotta buy an incense. I'm going to drop an incense. And the uh, Pokemon Go Plus uh, has stopped working. It's eating into its 30 minutes. I'm not sure what the strategy is here. I kind of wanted to see how long it would take for the Go Plus to clean up this cluster, but it's not working. It's still not working. Ah, okay, the Go Plus is working. I wonder how long it will take to clean up this cluster. Let's see. Okay, and out of that cluster, we caught four Pokemon, including the Roselia. This might be a rough day for the Go Plus. Oh, look, we found an executor spawn, and it's on the Go Plus. Wait, I think it's on the Go Plus. Will it catch it? Oh, it caught it. Wait, was that the executor or was that the, oh, that was the Marsh Tom. This is the executor. Wild executor, it's all the Pokemon Go Plus that can only use Pokeballs, by the way. That's the biggest difference between the Pokemon Go Plus. Oh, we caught it, no shot. And the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. This device right here, the old Pokemon Go Plus can only use Pokeballs. But as you'll see with the new device, it could use a lot more than that. And another honestly super annoying thing about this one is the fact that it's not rechargeable. Meaning if you wanna replace the batteries cause this thing runs out of batteries, you have to unscrew, I don't know if you can see it, you have to unscrew the back and take out the battery and put in a new one. Listen, I understand that's how like the world worked like five, 10 years ago, like for my parents' generation, but dog, being able to be rechargeable is like a fundamental piece of technology nowadays. That sucks about this. Okay, so we've been catching for about 10 minutes and so far we've caught 23 Pokemon, which is really, really nice. No shinies, anything in the 100% department, nothing yet. But hey, 23 spawns in 10 minutes on the old Go Plus, it's pretty good. Yeah. The the Go Plus just randomly decided to disconnect. Maybe it ran out of batteries, <laughs> which I will not be replacing. Okay, some big spawns here. We've got this guy. On the incense, a wild Ledian. Can we catch it? We cannot, that fled. Also here is my favorite Pokemon, Pseudo Wudo. If the Go Plus doesn't catch that, it's dead to me. Okay, Pikachu. Wow, there's even a low punny here. This cluster is insane. That could have been shiny. Here we go, the Kadabra. Can we catch Kadabra? No, no we can't. All right, this is it. It's the moment of truth. It's Pseudo Wudo. Pokemon Go Plus, you're dead to be, no, he missed it, bro. That's it, that's it, that's the test right there. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus automatically wins by default. Since we're using the Go Plus to catch Pokemon, we can join a raid, and I will be doing that with a Sneasel raid, and actually there's a brand new feature, oh geez, how do I turn it off? There's a new feature that allows people who are in the raid with you to actually add you as a friend. You can add each other's friends while in the raid lobby, which is really nice, it's really convenient. I, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, let's see, if we can get a shiny from a raid, I mean, that counts, you know? I can't, well, we're gonna catch this, obviously. Because that's the beautiful thing about a Pokemon Go Plus or an auto catcher in general. It allows you to do other things like patch eggs, do raids, or just not play while still catching Pokemon. So we have less than 10 minutes left with the Pokemon Go Plus. Let's see what we got. Currently, 51 Pokemon. That's actually really good. Nothing shiny or 100% IV, but 51 Pokemon caught. We still have like, Six minutes. And time is up for the Pokemon Go Plus OG. 30 minutes is up and this device caught exactly 71 Pokemon in 30 minutes. That's really good. Out of those 71, we got zero shinies and no 100% IVs, but we still got a lot of things. So honestly, dude, for the old Go Plus, I'm impressed. Now we're gonna put this guy away and use this guy, the brand new Pokemon Go Plus Plus. We'll disconnect the old one, press to connect the new one. Beautiful, and it's connected. Okay, wait, it just, it just threw a ball, and it, that doesn't count. Now, this device is a couple of settings that makes it really, really useful and efficient, which includes enable Pokeball auto throw, something you cannot do on the Go Plus original, which means if I check that box, I can walk around, not even look at my phone, not even have to press the button, and it will automatically catch Pokemon using Pokeballs. Whereas with the regular Pokemon Go Plus, in order to catch a Pokemon, you have to press this button every time your phone detects one, but not with the Pokeball auto throw. So we're gonna begin the 30 minute timer, we're gonna turn on auto throw, and for the next 10 minutes, we're gonna walk around and just use the auto throw with Pokeballs. Meaning I don't have to press the button. I can put it in my pocket. It's so convenient. Oh, look at this. I found a pseudo Wudo while I was taking a phone call. And guess what? The Pokemon Go Plus Plus also lost 
the pseudo wudo. They're both dead to me. Okay, 10 minutes have gone by with the device, which is honestly still catching Pokemon, which is amazing. And we got 33 Pokemon caught with just using the auto catch feature on the Pokeballs. I took two phone calls while walking around and using this. I just, and, and I had my camera in my hand and my phones both in my hand. I definitely could not do that if I was using the regular Pokemon Go Plus, because I would have to be pressing the button every time the spawn happened. But right here, as you can see, it got the spawn, it automatically caught it. Didn't even have to press it. That feature is amazing. Now what I'm gonna do is go into the settings, go to connected devices and services, and we're gonna swap over to great balls. Now, so what's gonna happen is the auto throw functionality is gonna be turned off, which means it will not automatically throw and catch Pokemon that only works with Pokeballs. So we can turn off, enable auto Pokeball throw. And for the next 10 minutes, let's use great balls and see how many Pokemon we can catch. Okay, so we're using the great ball right now and we're actually at the end of the pier cluster. I wanted to see how many of these Pokemon we could actually catch out of the cluster. We got one, ah, the second ran. Got two, third ran. Gosh, another one ran, dude, what is happening? I'm flying through great balls right now. Nice, we got that and caught the new mole. So actually had a handful of those. It's definitely a lot better than the Pokeballs. And one of the most convenient parts about this device, the Go Plus Plus, is the fact that it's rechargeable. Again, we were talking about how annoying it was to unscrew, take the battery out, put the battery back in, and screw back together the Pokemon Go Plus. But with this, the Go Plus Plus, which I'm like tapping on the back of my device, you could plug it in and charge it with a USB-C cable. That is, the, I, I cannot say how convenient that is. And there we go. 10 minutes is up with the Great Ball. And 10 minutes with the Great Ball ended up getting 27 Pokemon. So now we'll go back into the settings, connect the devices, accessory, and we'll move over to the most convenient feature ever again. We're gonna be using Ultra Balls from now on. I'm gonna completely burn through my Ultra Balls, but for the next 10 minutes, let's catch everything we can find using Ultra Balls only. And 10 minutes is done on the Pokemon Go Plus Plus. You, we'll use, we'll do one more, we'll give it one more. 10 minutes using just Ultra Balls. Honestly, I'm super curious about this one. We ended up catching in, uh, technically it was like eight minutes. Uh, this is 40 Pokemon using Ultra Balls on the Go Plus Plus, wow. And I will say, as I was walking around these two devices, this one, the OG Pokemon Go Plus, was just nice because it's so small and it's got a little clip on the back, so you could clip it onto your pocket and kind of forget about it, but you can't forget about it because it doesn't auto-catch Pokemon. But this one does. The auto-catch feature was absolutely and is absolutely a game and life changer. It also automatically spins Pokestops to replenish all the balls you're throwing, which is a, also a game changer. Plus the fact that this one's rechargeable and this one you have to like literally pull the battery out and put it back in, I mean, that is so much better. And the fact that you can use great and ultra balls if you actually want to be active in pressing the button, also a game changer. And when it comes down to it, the Pokemon Go Plus caught 71 Pokemon in 30 minutes, and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus caught exactly 100 in 30 minutes on the dot. It catches more Pokemon, it charges a lot easier, and it makes playing Pokemon Go a lot more convenient. I definitely have to say when it comes to the Pokemon Go Plus original and the Pokemon Go Plus Plus, this one wins by a huge margin. And if you wanna buy one of your own, I left an Amazon link down in the description below, so make sure to pick up one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.